what's up, Art here, and welcome to a new Black Ops 3 video. In fact, welcome to a new Black Ops 3 best class set of video. And of course, as you can tell by the title, in this one, we're gonna take a look at the brand new Fury song, A Melee Weapon. Anyway, first off, a big shout out to Thunder for allowing me to play on his account, he actually has this weapon. I personally don't have this one, so it's very much appreciated. If you want to check them out, you can find a link in the description. But apart from that, in this video, I'm simply going to break down this setup. Well, first, I'm going to take a look at the tacticals, then the perks, and then finally the score streak setup. So that being said, let's get to it. Now, for starters, I decided to go with two concussion grenades just because, obviously, this is a melee weapon. So it doesn't work at medium to long range. If you want to do well, then that means that you have to get up close and personal. And a concussion grenade is simply going to stun your opponents for a little bit, making it easier for you to basically run up to them. Also, a little tip, before you run into a building, make sure to first off throw a concussion in there, just to make sure that you don't get killed by someone who's simply waiting for you. Anyway, so next up we have Ghost and also Overclock. Ghost is first going to make sure you don't get detected by enemy UAVs whilst you're actually moving. Obviously, if you want to do well with a melee weapon, you have to continuously run around, so that's going to help you out quite a bit. And then also, it makes sure you do not show up on the minimap when you're planting or defusing a bomb, or when you're controlling a square streak. So if you want to, you can hop into a talent whilst using the perk Ghost, and no one will be able to figure out where you're at. And then obviously we also have Overclock, which is simply going to allow you to earn your specialist weapon or specialist ability a little bit faster. Now I'm not too sure how much faster, but if you use this perk for a little bit, you'll definitely notice a huge difference. And in terms of doing well with the melee weapon, I would recommend you to either go with Overdrive, it's going to give you a little bit of a speed boost, making it a lot easier to get up close and personal. Either Vision Pause is going to allow you to see enemies through walls, which basically gives you the opportunity to prepare yourself for a new encounter before it actually happens. And Heat Wave is also a pretty good one. That one basically allows you to stun your opponents for, I want to say, about two seconds or so. And obviously, if you want to knife someone, that's pretty useful. Anyway, so next up for perk 2, as always, we have Hardwires. Hardwires is my go-to perk in Black Ops 3. I'm pretty sure that all of you know that by now. This one is really useful. Anyway, so for starters, it makes you immune to counter UAVs, power cores, EMP grenades, and also smoke screens. It makes sure you don't trigger trip mines, shark charges, and also C4 alarms. And then on top of that, it reduces the effects of tracker, and it completely annihilates the effects of Sixth Sense. So this one is definitely pretty good. And then finally, we have Dead Silence and also Awareness, a Silent Force favorite perk setup. First off, that sound is going to silence your footsteps, making it pretty much impossible for your opponents to hear you. Obviously, sound whoring is the way to go in Black Ops 3. And like I said before, if you want to do well with a melee weapon, you have to continuously run around. You have to try to get up close and personal. And that silence is simply going to make that a heck of a lot easier, because like this, they won't hear you from a mile away. And then finally, we have awareness, which is actually going to increase the amount of sound that your enemies' their footsteps make, making it for starters a lot easier to pinpoint where exactly they are. But because of that, you can also make sure you're ready for an encounter before it actually happens. Because like I've said in previous videos, when you use the perk Awareness, you can hear them from a mile away. Now keep one thing in mind, that actually uses the nerf the perk Awareness. I'm not too sure about how much. Personally, when I use this perk, I can still hear opponents very easily. Then again, I do have a proper headset. And I've asked this in previous videos as well. And obviously, since they recently nerfed this perk, I would definitely like to know whether or not Awareness is still a good option when you don't have a proper headset. Before this perk got nerfed, it was still a very viable option, but if that's not the case right now, then I would recommend you to switch this one for Blast Suppressor, which is going to make sure you do not show up on the minimap when you use your thrusters, and then on top of that, it's also going to suppress the amount of sounds that your thrusters make, which is definitely pretty helpful, because in that case, it'd be even harder for your opponents to pinpoint where exactly you're at, and of course, this one also goes hand in hand with Dead Silence. And then finally, in terms of score streaks, obviously, it doesn't matter too much which score streaks you use, but personally, I find it pretty difficult to go on high-end streaks when I'm only using a melee weapon. So in this case, with the UAV, the counter feed, and of course, also the lightning strike. But if you want to, you can challenge yourself a little bit more. Maybe go with the UAV, the health storm, and the hater. But basically, keep in mind that you're probably not going to do incredibly well whilst using just a melee weapon. And with that being said, of course, if you've got a pretty solid setup for the Fury song, then definitely be sure to share that one in the comments for others to try out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, some support, a like rating would be very much appreciated. If not, that's cool. Of course, if you want to, you can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. You can find all those links in the description. And then finally, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy.